Okay, so Stranger Things Season 4, we learned something huge. Nancy suggests going to her house inside the Upside Down to retrieve her weapons so they can use them as protection while they're stuck there. When they get there and her weapons are nowhere to be found, they start looking around and realize that her room, this house, the entire Upside Down, is stuck on November 6, 1983. This is the day that Brenner made Eleven first make contact with that Demogorgon, and the same day that Will went missing in the Upside Down. And according to the Duffer Brothers, this is going to be huge. We found out in volume one that Eleven had accidentally created the Upside Down. Um, how significant is it that it's been frozen in time um, from the day that Will got taken? Very significant. There was debate whether we even included that because we don't actually resolve that this season, mm -hmm. but it plays that moment where they realize it's frozen in time really is a huge part of season five. And so we wanted to just put it out there and, and get people talking about and thinking about it. Why is the Upside Down stuck in the past? Why was it not stuck on the day Henry Creel was first banished there in 1979 after the massacre at Hawkins Lab? Why was it only when Will got taken that it became frozen in time, you could say? And why is this going to be such a big deal? What is this going to reveal that we don't already know? I actually saw somewhere that the Duffer Brothers said that they wouldn't be surprised if someone on Reddit could figure it out based on what they showed us in volume two. So I went through and read literally every single one of the Reddit theories. I rewatched volume 2, I read the behind the scenes look at Will's time in the Upside Down, and I think out of everything, I may have figured it out, or at least a very good guess at why and how the Upside Down is stuck in the past, so make sure you stay until the end of the video. If you're new here, welcome to the channel, I'm Michael J. If you love Stranger Things, you are in the right place, just look at the last 20 videos I posted. Surprisingly enough, only 12% of the people that watch my videos remember to subscribe. Shout out to the 12%, you guys are the best, and if you're not subscribed, what are you even doing? Go down and smash that subscribe button as hard as you can. It doesn't cost a thing, it's literally free and it helps support me and the channel so I can keep making great videos for you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and leave a plate of fresh cookies down in the comments for everyone who subscribed so go get them while they're hot because this is going to be a very fun theory. Now looking into this theory I noticed a couple things right off the bat. We were led to believe the Upside Down is stuck in the past, right? But is it really? In season 1 when Will gets taken, he's in the Upside Down for about a week. In season 4, we see Nancy's diary is untouched and left the way it was when Will got taken. But what about in season 1? Remember Joyce writing letters on the wall for Will to talk to her through? What happened with that? Did they appear in the Upside Down when she drew them in the real world? Dark Horse released a four part graphic novel called The Other Side which literally covers Will's time he spent in the Upside Down from the moment he was taken all the way until Hop and Joyce came in and rescued him. Honestly it's a really good read if you want me to do a summary slash review video breaking down everything big and what happened go tell me in the comments because I really enjoyed it. But in this novel it kind of looks like the letters physically appeared on the wall while he was looking at it so he could see them to communicate with. And another detail, the snowball dance. At the end of season 2 we see a flip transition going from the real snowball to the upside down and I can't help but feel like it's the snowball in the upside down too. I've seen people pointing these possible errors out so I wanted to address them really quick before we started the video. The snowball dance, yes we can definitely see the same string lights hanging in the hallway in the upside down that are in the real world. But if you remember, lights from the real world are able to bleed into the upside down. It's probably not the physical strands of lights we see, but more so just the light leaks from the actual lights in the real world. Plus this big snowball sign on the front, it's not there in the upside down. This one here is just a dirty window, but I was looking at the cars and I noticed something suspicious. The cars are actually mirrored in the two shots. This bug type car that's on the right of the lot in the real world is actually on the left in the upside down. And then these three more boxy cars on the left of it are now on the right of it in the upside down. And I mean these look like the exact same row of cars just mirrored, which is weird, right? Nancy didn't realize her room was mirrored, Will's Fort Byers isn't mirrored, Hawkins High School isn't mirrored, why these cars? It was probably at least 10pm when Will was kidnapped so I highly doubt teachers were still at the school this late when Will went missing or that there was even this many cars in the lot. I can't help but think that these cars are from the snowball dance, which just brings us back full circle. This could just be a canonical mistake, or I have a theory. What if Will is tied to all of this? What if Will is altering the places he interacts with in the real world since he's still connected to the hive mind? And the lights in the buyer's home. Honestly, before I read the comic, I just assumed that the letters didn't appear in the upside down. Will was just good at puzzles and was able to figure out that since only 26 lights were lighting up, it was just kind of like letters in the alphabet. So maybe this is just another canonical error that they just barely missed. I mean, he could also hear what she was saying. She could have just told him it was the alphabet off screen. Maybe the novel artist was just showing 
showing the letters as Will saw it because he knew they were there. But what if this place in the Upside Down was altered by Will as well? I'll get into it more later in the video, but what if Will needed it to change so he let this wall mirror the real one without knowing it? These two changes, the parking lot of the snowball and the letters on the wall, are the only changes to the Upside Down since November 6, 1983. Nothing else has changed since Abduction Day. Why did this wall? Did Will make it? And real quick, I want to tell you about the sponsor of today's video, Display. Display is a one-of-a-kind metal poster designed to capture your specific individual passions. You can customize, collect, and rearrange them in just 20 seconds and set them up with no power tools, no unnecessary damage, and no frustration. Display works with all your favorite licenses and brands including Stranger Things, Star Wars, Marvel, DC, The Witcher, and many more. Whatever gets you excited or inspired by, Display is the place to get it and put it up in your room. I've been wanting some flair for my apartment for a while now and they sent me this beauty straight from the upside down and I absolutely love it. This is actually my first Stranger Things piece going up on my wall and I'm so excited for it. Along with this sick poster I also got a Cowboy Bebop one and these two Star Wars ones that I'm so stoked to put up as well. Disc plates have this super easy magnet mounting system that goes on the wall non-destructively with very little effort and then allows you to swap your posters around if you want to. You simply clean off the area you're going to hang your poster on, put the protective leaf sticker on first, get out any air bubbles, then stick the magnet right on top of that making sure it's adhered as strong as possible and then boom you're done! Your poster should stick perfectly to the magnet looking absolutely beautiful in your house now without you ever having to put any holes in your wall which honestly is so nice. If you want to check them out and get your very first display today go click on my link in the description and you'll automatically get 25% off your purchase and if you get three or more displays you'll get a 29% discount. They have some really sick Stranger Things designs I definitely recommend checking them out. Thank you so much to display for sponsoring this video and thanks to you guys for checking out display now back to the upside down Okay, so moving on to the actual reason why the Upside Down is stuck, let's get one thing out of the way. So a lot of people, me included, refer to the Upside Down being stuck in the past as if time does not move in this dimension, and it is literally still on the night that Will was taken into the Upside Down. Honestly, I don't think this is the case. I think the Upside Down was formed on this day, and since no one is here to continue changing this dimension as they do in the real world, going about their jobs and Nancy writing in her diary, it still exists as it did on November 6, 1983 when it was formed. Formed. So the Upside Down is not technically stuck in the past, but it was created in the past and kind of just stayed as it was on that day. And honestly, this is one of the biggest mysteries of the show right now. This is such a huge reveal that they completely just left us on a cliffhanger waiting for answers in Season 5, which who knows how long that will be. But they have been teasing it a lot and they've already given us an idea where they're going and more specifically who they're going to be focusing on. They've told us in Season 5 they're heading back to their Season 1 roots. That means the original cast gets the spotlight, no new characters characters and they're keeping the story inside of Hawkins, which Personally, I am so happy to hear. They also showed us that Will is going to be playing a large role in Season 5, teasing his neck tingle some more. They showed us Will talking to Mike that his connection to the hive mind, to Vecna, to the mind flare, is very much still active and ever since he came back to Hawkins, he could feel Vecna's presence stronger than ever. He can feel his thoughts and his feelings. He knows Vecna isn't going to give up and the fight is far from over. I think we are underestimating just how important Will is to the storyline and how strong his connection is to the Upside Down. I touched on it a little in the last video which you should definitely go watch but now we're going to talk about why this could affect the upside down ever since season one will has always been the target vecna had will kidnapped in season one used him as a host in season two i mean will knew vecna wasn't trying to kill him he was just trying to use him he was still connected to him in season three and will be going after him more than ever in season four we learned how similar henry creel is to will they were both different, both sensitive children of nature who didn't fit in very well with others. I personally think there's way more to him and Vecna's connection than we know. When Eleven first banished Henry Creel to the Upside Down in 1979, it didn't seem to represent any part of the world when Henry got there. It was just kind of a Middle Earth vibe with volcanic ash and creatures roaming the land. And come to think of it, 12 year old Henry Creel didn't know the current day Hawkins. If he was to be the one to mold this new dimension into current day Hawkins, he had never seen it before and he can't look at it through any lens. That's the whole reason he needs Eleven is because she's strong enough to open portals. He doesn't have interdimensional power, so he couldn't have known what Hawkins 1983 looked like, which means it was created by something else. 
by someone else. Now, as we know, Will was always a very creative person, you could say. We always see his love for drawing, for coloring, for painting throughout the show, for creating. That's just who he is. And ever since, Vecna used him as a host and connected him to the hive mind, Will has had powers. These powers were most oftenly described as the true sight ability, allowing him to see into a different dimension while in another. He called these visions of the Upside Down now memories. He is able to see current day in the Upside Down while physically in the real world almost easily while while Eleven and Henry both have to sit down and basically meditate before they can astro travel. Will is also still connected to the hive mind, so not only can he feel what it feels, he also knows what it's thinking. It's just very much established that Will has powers to a certain degree, and they made a big point to show us that Henry and Will are very similar. Just what if Will was unknowingly able to shape the Upside Down into the town he lived in on the last day he remembers it, and it's just been that way ever since he was rescued? What if Will was under so much trauma when the Demogorgon took him that that night that he subconsciously shaped the Upside Down to a warped version of Hawkins? What if that's why Vecna was targeting him all along? Not only did he need a similar person to him to use as a host, but he could also see Will's undeveloped powers and wanted to use this version of Hawkins as a map so he knew how to properly invade Hawkins when the time came. We have seen that with training, powers develop and they can get stronger. What if Will always suppressed these weird feelings he thought were normal and his powers just never fully developed? Maybe Henry saw the potential of Will's creativity like him and wanted to absorb any possible powers he had so he could mold the Upside Down into whatever he wanted since he was stuck there. I wonder if the Upside Down is connected to Will's past trauma and he just can't move on from it. I want to know how far the Upside Down goes. I don't think it's a one-for-one -one copy of the entire world. I feel like it's just the place Will grew up in, the town of Hawkins. Plus, that would explain the Russians. Remember in Season 3, Alexei was saying the Russians tried to open portals many times in Russia with no success? What if they couldn't open portals in Russia because the Upside Down doesn't exist? there. There's no upside down to go to. It's only the town of Hawkins. Kind of interesting to think about. I don't think anyone's ever traveled far in the upside down. I would love to see this answered as well in season 5, but I really like this theory that Will was the one to subconsciously mold the upside down into the town of Hawkins. But I can't help but raise some questions to counter this theory as well. It looks like the upside down copied everything in Hawkins in exact detail, like it's a one to one replica, even capturing things that Will couldn't have possibly known about or seen before. Like Nancy's diary. I don't know how Will's subconscious could recreate her diary word for word if he's never seen it before. There's no way he's been inside Eddie Munson's trailer ever either. The Creel House. Hopper's cabin, the RV park, there's just too much for it to be created only from the things and places Will has seen by growing up in Hawkins. If Henry and Will are so much alike like we saw them point out in season 4, maybe Will is able to mold things into what he wants just like Henry with the mind flare. Maybe Will is so powerful that he was able to turn this dark scary unknown place into the town that he was familiar with and grew up in as best he could. But it just doesn't explain how he was able to mold together so many details like the inside of Nancy's diary. He would only be able to do that if he subconsciously used his powers to just copy and paste Hawkins into the Upside Down the day he got there. But that's assuming that Will created this place to be like Hawkins. If him and Henry are the same thing theoretically and have the same powers, what's stopping Henry from doing the same thing? If he didn't need to be there to see what it looked like in 1983, why couldn't he copy and paste? Because he doesn't have access to the real world dimension? I don't think Will had nothing to do with the Hawkins Upside Down, but I also don't think he recreated every square inch from his subconscious because there's no way he read all of Nancy's diary. There is a possibility though that the trauma of being kidnapped and spontaneously brought into another dimension triggered an undiscovered creative power that molded the Upside Down into the one place Will knew best. Hawkins. I think it's tied to the trauma and Will and Henry are connected, almost like a dyad. Some people think it's like Harry Potter and Voldemort. I think season 5 is literally going to revolve around Will and we're going to learn that the Upside Down was created by him being taken and it's just been stuck like that ever since. I really hope we see Will's powers develop into something stronger. I think it'd be really cool to see him contribute a lot more to defeating Vecna and stopping the hordes from taking over the world. What do you think? I love this idea of Will being the reason the Upside Down is like Hawkins and I think the few little things that don't align might just be oversights as they were creating each season one at a time. Tell me in the comments what you think of Will creating Hawkins in the Upside Down. Also, thank you so much to Display for sponsoring this video. Be sure to head over and check out their posters using the link in the description for 25% off your purchase. And if you get three or more displays, you'll get a 29% discount. I'll have another video out soon, but until then, I will see you in the comments. Peace.